Welcome back to the Youth Academy Road to Glory. Save our season is indifferent so far as we look to try and build as a club towards a successful future. We're not doing too bad. We've scored 20, conceded 20. We did have the best defensive record in the league. Then yesterday happened. So we don't have the best defensive record in the league any longer. But it's still not bad. 20 goals conceded is less than anybody other than West Ham in the bottom half. And... It's only those at the very top end of the table that are significantly better than that. Speaking of the size at the very top end of the table, we start with Manchester City first. Then it's Liverpool at home, followed by Everton away midweek. Then tomorrow will be Newcastle, Forest and West Ham as we then round out the calendar year and head into a busy and difficult January. Liverpool, City and Manchester United all in the same month. Plus, of course, an FA Cup tie yet to be drawn. This is going to be the part of the season where probably results don't go our way that often. And then fingers crossed, once we've gotten all of those big sides out of the way, then we can lump in with a haul of points. Fingers are crossed. Uh, although uh, Manchester City might well be able to prize them apart by the time we get to the Etihad and the final whistle. Edison in goal for City. Rico Lewis is 82 rated now, so looking pretty good. Ruben Diaz alongside Bremer, Ravella, Marino and Rodri in the midfield with Kulisevsky on the right, Foden on the left and Erling is 94 rated now in this sixth season. So, uh, that will be fun. I'd love it if that underperforming Nicolo Ravella, oh my God, plays against me here. A yellow card and a deserved one as well for Abner. Kulisevsky could be in around the side but Erling's taking it on himself now here's Kulisevsky with plenty of options to pass to and he can't get the pass off Edwards to Fleming counter attack for us then Salinas not found we don't have the quality needed evidently in that instance Erling has the quality at the other end of the uh... Jesus Christ that's a loud cheer from the City fans Erling has the quality at the other end of the pitch as uh, you won't be surprised to hear He's one of the league's top goal scorers and they are top of the table. They're not bossing the game, City, and you can see there that there is a mistake or two in there for them. They still do have Ruben Diaz at the back, though. Not that he's evidently immune to making the odd mistake. Nor Rodri. Edwards equalises. City just couldn't help but give me the ball back. They can have it back now from the centre spot. I'm not really set up to be in a defensive shell, but City are finding it hard to pick us apart at the minute. Erling. Kulisevsky. Never mind, they picked me apart. Ruben Richardson, thankfully, in the way to deny Erling his and City second. Might just try and see this through till half time, to be honest, unless a really good opportunity presents itself to get in behind, which it may well have done with Edwards here. Little back heel for Fleming, and a worldie, maybe. Oh, it's going to go in! It is a worldie! Fleming! From outside the box, AFC Cheese lead by two. That deserves another viewing, don't you think? Again, the whole team come to celebrate with him, unsurprisingly so, because that is by far the best goal of his career and one of the best goals we've ever scored in this save. Outside the box, Fleming, over the keeper, absolutely unsavable from him. Wow, we're in front of the Etihad. Kulisevsky with the corner to be taken short to Phil Foden. We've held up and can force the extra corner from, which is now going to come into the middle. And we should have the chance to clear it. It's looking for Foden, but it's cleared away well. Rodri gets to that, nods it back to Abner, and still City have the chance to find an equaliser here. Mikel Marino won't get it, though. We're holding on for our dear lives here. What a three points this would be. That's a foul. And the fact the referee's pulled it back, yep, might mean that he's in trouble. He is. We're wearing red. Dejan Kulisevsky saw red and wiped him out from behind. Pure frustration from the Manchester City players. Pep can't quite believe it. Not only are they a goal down, but now they're a man down. Romero dinked over the top. Samaras flicks that on. Edwards will look to get away. Three minutes added on. Just keep possession, Chez. Don't let them have it back. And they can't score. Romero, Jacek Vilk, Salinas to seal it. Nacho! 
Oh my lord, no, Lassa Schultz can't finish either, but it's wasted enough time, I think. It's wasted enough time! We could have sealed it at three multiple times. We didn't. Edison pulling off some fantastic saves in the game, but it's not enough to save Manchester City. Abner could have found himself lucky or counted himself lucky to stay on the pitch in the first half. We've been able to then entice them, frustrate them into Dejan Kulusevski lunging in and getting himself sent off. And we have been able to win at Old Trafford and the Etihad so far this season. Truly spectacular stuff. We have Liverpool at home next, I think. And then we're away against Everton. Or is it the other way around? I'm not sure. I think it is Liverpool at home next. We're up to 12th in the league. It is Liverpool at home. City were top. I imagine they won't be after we've won that game. They aren't. They've dropped to second. And it looks like a hell of a title battle going on right now. And even Southampton are up there in fourth. I imagine Aidan Calhoun will be having a large influence on that. Arsenal with a chance with a game in hand to go joint second as well. Yeah, the title is looking very, very tasty right now. We are only three points off the top half, but have still some very difficult games remaining today. Novak is up to 74, but has now peaked, unfortunately. Fafana and Minjeo happy to be going out on loan, as are we. Happy to be sending them on loan. Can we do it again against a big team? Liverpool next. Liverpool then line up with Alisson in goal. Vanderson, Araujo, Lacroix and Correa at the back. Genduzi, Tonali and Bellingham in their midfield. With Marcus Edwards, Cody Gakpo and Jota in the starting lineup as the front three. Mo Salah no longer in their squad, I don't think. I think they've sold him. Or he's retired. Something's happened. It's season six. He's probably retired, to be fair, isn't he? Jota gets the nod ahead of Darwin Nunez. And Cody Gakpo, who was suspended last time we played Liverpool, is back and ready and raring to go this time around. So, yes, evidently, new day. We're <laughs> wearing a different T-shirt, well spotted. Uh, we are trying to build on what we did uh, in the last play session. <laughs> and hopefully we can do that by picking up a point at least here against Liverpool. Making moves, as is Salinas, and Edwards is in here. Tom Edwards settles himself. Allison's done that before. Lasso Schultz, Salinas. We will get our goal. Very lucky for it to come about the way that it did, but Nacho Salinas gives us an early 1-0 lead in the 12th minute. Edwards sent through. Just delayed on it a little bit till I was trying to settle him so I could get an accurate shot. We do need to actually take the shot. Last touch was just a little bit too heavy, wasn't it? Still sprinting. Shorts that tried to shoot with and well blocked. But Salinas steals in and buries. Oh, briefly opened up there for Fleming looking to get in behind. Shotter's going to look out wide to Marcus Edwards here. Who with excellent footwork sets up Cody Gakpo. Who unfortunately for him can't give Liverpool an equalising goal. But it was very, very close indeed. He still could here. Thankfully, we've been able to get the tackle in second time around. That was excellently built by Liverpool and a wonderful ball across for uh, Cody Gakpo. Gakpo quickly to Jota. He's got the runner. He's going to use Edwards. No. That didn't look like it was too far away from Diogo Jota towards that far top corner looking to, well, actually not bend it around the man. He's knuckled it. And it could have knuckled back in. And unfortunately, Vimit just swerved outside the post. Oh, we go, please, Lasser. <laughs> dominated. Absolutely dominated by Jude Bellingham. That was ridiculous. Diogo Jota across into Marcus Edwards, who's looking to get away here. He's beaten. Oh, it's a lovely ball through again. And Cody Gakpo for it. Gakpo, I called him then. Cody Gakpo for a second time is denied by Richardson at close range. For the time being, they still trail. That's a lovely take by Salinas. I've got Edwards with me here, and I'll look for him. And look at that run through the middle. Oh, it's Bianchi! It's Alisson! Go on, Nacho. Through the gap. Ronald Araujo has had a dodgy game so far, I have to be honest. We use Edwards as a decoy. It's worked brilliantly. Salinas! Oh! The run from Edwards just drew Lacroix away, and it opened up for him. He's got a five-star weak foot, but couldn't find the top corner. Sandro Tonali off, Tom Lamar on, attacking intent from Jurgen Klopp. 
Bellingham, Bellingham, Bellingham. Perried very nicely and Liverpool have themselves an equaliser to their highest rated player on the pitch right now. Outfield, that is. I think Alisson's 19, Bellingham's 89, but taken short from the corner, worked inside. Jews actually almost does too much, but still has the quality to find that finish. And Liverpool do have their equaliser. No further clean sheet for us, but it could be another point potentially towards our fan objective of getting them against the big six. We need 12 to complete that fan objective. And so far, we've managed to get six. And we still haven't played everybody yet. So I'm actually really, really hoping that we can do it. We can pull it off. Uh, I don't fancy Salinas up against Lacroix there in that particular moment. But here we could slot through Fleming, who's away from Araujo. Straight to Alisson again. It's like Alisson just has a magnet in the ball connected to his gloves. And it just draws them straight towards it. Draws it straight towards them every time that we shoot at the minute. I can't seem to find the corner to save my life. That certainly hit Cody's arm. That'd be free kick for me, please. I uh, misspoke earlier. Bellingham is not 89 rated. He's 91 rated. So Drew Bellingham is Liverpool's highest rated player in this save right now. And he got them a deserved equaliser, to be fair. They've definitely been good enough to warrant something from this game. But... Will they get anything from this game? Bianchi's in here. He's got support. And here's Fleming. And the near post. Allison and his magnetic gloves at it again. We nearly stole it. We very nearly stole it. I'm just going to put Salinas on it. So that hopefully there's someone taller in the middle to aim for. Nacho delivers. Looking for Francisco da Costa. It's going to fall. We're going to turn with Bianchi. Salinas. Francisco Edwards, there's still space for Stanley Lyons that is closed down by Connor Bradley. And that'll be a 1-1 draw against Liverpool. They could have stolen it late, we could have stolen it late. We share the spoils, but it's another point against one of the Premier League's big handful of sides. And we are proving now that we genuinely might well consider ourselves the sort of side that would be established in the public opinion as a Premier League team, even only having just come up. I think we're putting in performances now and getting results to prove that we deserve to be and belong at this level. Now we need to prove that we deserve to be and belong at a slightly higher level within the same league. The other half of Merseyside next. Everton have Lucas Chevalier in goal. Ortega, Branthwaite, Richelli and Berenoir. Oh, I can't remember his name. <laughs> uh, Left back, I didn't want to get it wrong. Berenote, I think. Maran Boadu, is it Berenote? Beruato, apologies. Kubo, Hadara, Phillips, Neves and Popescu is their midfield. It's a decent team, actually, for Everton. Uh, the majority in the early 80s. And, of course, they are a point above us in the table. We're currently sat 13th. They're currently sat 11th. And we'd love to be above them by the end of this match day because that means we've beaten them. And it means that Lasso Schultz can pick it up. And around the corner here is Cooper, who's getting a rare start. We'll see about to go out on loan, young Cooper. Edwards, I just want some space to maybe try and whip something or fire something. Let's go for the firing. Lucas Chevalier gets the save in. First shot, first save, not first goal. Lays it back in there to Ruben Neves. Boado given away. Excellent footwork from Samras to duck past the challenge of the Everton defender trying to close him down. Bianchi will get that out to Cooper and will try and build a move of our own. Cooper's going again. Bianchi will look for him quickly inside here to Salinas. And I could use Edwards as a decoy. I won't. I'll use him as the actual intended recipient of the pass, which has given us, a, I was going to say first, a second goal. It's the first goal of the season. First goal of the season. Oh my God. First goal of the game. It's the second assist of the season. I, in my head, I wanted to mention the second assist of the season for Nacho Salinas. And it completely messed up my first sentence. Second assist of the season for Nacho Salinas. Edwards has another goal. We have a 1-0 lead. And I'll try and put sentences together in the right order moving forward. It's Haidara inside to Myron Buadu. Looking for an equaliser, but he won't get it like that. Sean Dice can't quite believe his star striker has put that nearer the corner flag than the goal mouth. Ortega, lovely little flick down to Takafusa Kubo. Who is a little bit fast. I don't know whether you've ever used or played against Takafusa Kubo. Uh, but, yeah. Slow is not really the word that comes to mind when you think about him. Nice outside of the boot effort from Boadu there. Much better than his left-footed 
a chance moments ago, but still no equalising goal for Everton. We weren't able to hold on to the 1-0 lead. That's a foul shirt tug. We weren't able to hold on to the 1-0 lead against Liverpool. Um, pretty desperate to hold on to it this time around, seeing as the league table is quite tight in the mid-table, and we might be able to push towards the uh, top eight or nine if we can win this. Oh, cheers then. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Ah, we don't mention that. So that's well then. Come on, that's a good, that's a good, that's a Enrico, there is the overlapping run here of Lasser Schultz. Cutting in on his left-hand side. He has been dangerous, Lasser. Can't quite find the goal, though. All the way out to the right back. Just try and switch the play down the other flank. Stretch this Everton back line. Just like that. Now, Salinas is the one arriving, and Edwards is the one in a good position. I think he might just have been offside there. He's buried it. But I'm, I'm pretty sure he went the wrong side of the line. What? He was so far off. He was so far off, surely. We lead by two goals to nil. That must have been one of the tightest calls you've ever seen. And left, unless, oh, no. Yeah, the number three, the left back, played him on. I was looking at the two centre-backs around him, and he looked like he was so far off. He's brilliantly buried in the bottom corner. I'll show you that off sideline then. Because as this comes through here, I'm looking at him compared to the two centre-backs around him and thinking he's well offside there. But I hadn't noticed the number three, that's just above my head here, that ran with Lasse Schultz, played him on. So Edwards on his own on the penalty spot and can just slot it home. We lead by two goals to nil. I tell you what. We're an established Premier League side, lads. We deserve to be at this level now. We are officially, I hope, now no longer going to have to worry about relegation from this division. We are now, hopefully, going to be able to stand a bit firmer in the transfer window when bids come in for our players. And hopefully, we can attract a calibre of player that's a little bit better than that that we have done so far. We are solidly now, I think, I'd like to expect a mid-table team in the Premier League with ambitions of getting into the top half within and, and then challenging for Europe, albeit probably Conference League, within the next two seasons. Oh, Tommy, you could have had a hat-trick, pal. It's getting forward nicely. Out wide to Octavian Popescu here on the wing. And the Romanian's done very well indeed. And Haidara finds Takafusa Kubo into the middle. I don't really know how Francisco got rid of that. Looked like he tried to lie down underneath the ball and somehow <laughs> he hasn't ended up in the back of the net. What happened there? Calvin Phillips with the ball down the line that is as accurate as you could possibly wish it to be. Popescu inside with the ball that is inaccurate as you could possibly expect to see. Thank you. That'll be the win for us then. Ta very much. That's the Schultz. Here comes the overlapping run. We might make it three. Oh, that's a nice ball around the corner actually. Edwards is in here. I'm going to need some support. Keep it in at least. And Yasik Vilk doesn't quite get the third to seal it. But not to worry. It was pretty much already sealed. 2-0 win away from home against Everton Football Club on the back of some fantastic results already this month. We are flying in the Premier League at the minute. Our form is really genuinely good for the first time since we've been at this level. And I'm starting to look up and consider myself to not even need to look down at the table. We're making solid progress with this club now. And hopefully we can kick on from here and look to get ourselves significantly higher by the end of the season. With continued growth from a number of our star players, we're into the top half. We are, however, kind of at the top of that batch of players, or sorry, batch of teams, and there's a bit of a jump to the next section. We're five points off Newcastle in seventh, but then there's only another three points up to Southampton in fourth, who are still having a phenomenal season. Manchester City and Manchester United, first and second. And guess who beat them both? We did! Tomorrow then, we take on Newcastle that are in that seventh spot. And also, in the final episode of the calendar year, Nottingham Forest away, where we'll hope to keep a second clean sheet in a row for a streak. And uh, West Ham at home as well. I have no idea... Uh, why? This has popped up on my screen. Something about Photoshop. Go away. Photoshop is open, but on my other monitor. So Christ knows what's going on there. I apologise. Right. <laughs> Technology sometimes screws you over. 
Newcastle, Forest and West Ham to come tomorrow and we are flying high in ninth. January transfer window not too far around the corner either. Might be a signing or two on the way perhaps. We'll wait and see. I'll see you then.